Are you going camping this weekend? Don't forget your hammock. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're camping in the spring and it's still a little bit chilly. We haven't got all the leaves out on the, on the trees yet, but one of the things that we always bring when we go camping are our hammocks. And we've got a variety of different types of hammocks. Years and years ago, I remember the first hammock experience I had was sleeping in a hammock in Central America. And it was woven and had some different types of cords. Uh, they also produced some other ones that were a cotton material and they were very comfortable too. But now I prefer a hammock that I can just stuff in my stuff bag and throw in my gear and take it with me. And I also have a little uh, blanket that I put in there, it makes it very comfortable. So let's just show you some of the hammocks that we enjoy, the, uh, the way that we like to set them up, the proper height that we should set up our hammocks to make it comfortable and uh, let's go. So here's a typical hammock that might be a starter hammock. It's a little more lightweight, the straps are not as rated for higher uh, weight as some of the other ones that we enjoy. But this is what we use with our kids. Uh, lightweight nylon, it's great. It's got a, a stuff bag that everything stuffs into. And that's typical now of most of your, your hammocks that you use for camping or backpacking. They'll have a stuff bag so everything comes together. The ends that have the straps that go around the tree, they're all part of that stuff bag too. And they typically have a carabiner on each end. Let me just show you this lightweight one as we go to the end here. And as you can see here, this just has a lighter weight carabiner, lighter weight straps, and uh, just hooked around the tree, hooked onto the carabiner, and you're ready to go. This is my favorite hammock. It's made by Honest Outfitters, and it has a 250 pound rating, and so I really enjoy this. I just wanted to show to you uh, how this is set up. You've got the, the carabiner and these straps that are more substantial than the other one, and they just slide onto the carabiner. But one of the things that it does have is along this adjustment strap, we've got some loops that I can adjust the height or the tightness of the, of the strap. And also I want you to look as we put this around the tree, we just haven't just looped it around, but we've made a full turn and that gives use some more support so it's not going to slide. So if I wanted to put the hammock up a little higher, I would just go to the second loop, pull my carabiner up tighter, and make a little adjustment, slide it in, and it's super simple. And now, of course, the hammock's way too high for me to get in and get out of, but uh, we'll talk about that in just a minute. So hammocks are very simple to set up, as you can see. But when you get your hammock that's brand new, you want to see if you can find a place that's close to home and try and set it up. I found that this is about the proper height for me between two trees to set that up so that when I want to get in, I can just push down, spread it open, and easily put my legs up in it. So I found that this is the proper height for me. I'm comfortable here. I've got a little blanket or a pillow that I can put on, a lot of different accessories, but this makes it a comfortable fit for me. And as you practice with your hammock, you're going to adjust it up and back and, and find the right spot for you. I'm not sure that I could spend the night in this, but I could probably get a good nap for three or four hours. And for me, the other reason that I don't like my hammock too high is when I'm getting out, and I do this just by reaching forward and pulling myself into an upright position. I like to be able to get my feet on the ground push back and then I can easily stand up. So make sure that it's comfortable getting into and getting out of. I really wanted to show you this hammock that Tim owns and he's had this for a lot of years. It's made by Ozark Trail and I pulled out the container. This is what it comes in. And so if you're car camping, this is a great little hammock to, to use. As you can see, it's got a, a frame there that just folds up and pops into that, into that bag and it's mesh on the bottom. It's got a few little bags that you can put a book in or you can put a drink in over here. Gives you plenty of shade. And this is super comfortable. So whether you're in your backyard or whether you're out camping, this is a fun little hammock to have. 
Remember that any camping equipment needs to be maintained. Basically, that means keep it clean and dry, pack it carefully, and make sure that you wipe off the dirt or sand so you don't have any abrasive rubs. Also, when you're setting it up and using your equipment, uh, particularly look at the weight rating for the, the hammock and the straps that you're on so that you're safe and that you don't damage the equipment. Now, let's talk about some of the variety of hammocks that we've shown you a few, but there are some that are specifically made for camping. They have wind covers on them. They have zippers. You can zip yourself completely inside. Some of them have pads that are built in. Really some nice high-end hammocks. So if you get to where you're thinking, this is great, this is how I'm gonna backpack, or this is how I'm gonna camp, good for you. I think you'll really enjoy it. One of the great accessories that I enjoy is just this little Versa blanket made by Climate. They're a great little company. It comes in a stuff bag. Pop that out. And uh, this has got a, see if I can pull it out a little bit more. Got a little foot box at the bottom and it's got some on each of the corners just some uh, corner tabs that you can put your feet or put your hands in to keep yourself warm and I just love to pop that out when I'm relaxing. Toss that up, get my feet underneath and I'm going to have me a nice little nap. We hope that you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about hammock camping. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.